Live from Gene Autry Way, welcome to Angel Stadium. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. So here's the lefty, Jose Suarez. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Here's Elvis Andrews. Here's a 1-1. One strike. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. 2-2 Two -two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Swung on, popped up, left side. Number 38 under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. And up next for Chicago, Zach Remillard. Pitch misses there. Two and one. There's a strike. Pulls the string with the changeup. Struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn now. Two down, nobody on. And that's in the dirt. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Adele makes the catch, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Angel Stadium, and getting the nod for the White Sox, Jose Urania. Well, he's a guy that needs to establish himself. Just settle in that first time through the order. Be able to command your first pitch, maybe a secondary pitch, and not show too much. That will allow you to get through the order a couple of times before having to turn it over to the bullpen in those middle innings. They're looking for this guy to get through the lineup a couple of times at least, limit some damage, and just keep him in this ballgame. Right-hander kicks deals. And down on strikes he goes. And one gone. So digging in, number nine. And a pitch. Going to count one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Line drive to short and caught. That is good. The first baseman, Brandon. Brandon Drury to the plate. 
Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Here's a 1 1. Next offering is outside. Cut on and missed 96 of that fastball. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Angels go quietly there. We played an inning. No score. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets. In there at the knees, that is strike two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Not even close there. Two balls, two strikes. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most guys are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. Sheets tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. Nope, he held back. And there's ball four. Pretty good pitch on 3-2 right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. Here's a 1-2. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And now, Lennon Sosa. And it is two and one. And he deals. There's a strike at the knees. Second inning here, no score. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Tyler Naquin to the play. The 1 1. On the ground, right side. Four, six, three. But he beats it. Good hustle. And the inning continues. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So, up next for Chicago, Trace Thompson. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. First and second, two outs. Now it's the White Sox catcher, number 36. Off the plate. Now two balls and a strike. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. High fly ball out of the left center field. Phillips settles under it. Brings it in for the third out. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Now to the bottom of the second. 
It's the White Sox one and the Angels nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. The 1-1. One -one. That one drifts inside. Swings and misses. It's two and two. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Next pitch is outside. Joe Adele on deck for the Angels. Righty delivers. Stays alive. pitch good plate appearance there able to take the walk got a great back and forth and that at bad he had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there I'll tell you right now I couldn't have done it here's Joe Adele that's off the mark and that's ball two Next offering misses down and away. Eduardo Escobar waits on deck. And a 3-1 on the way. And fouled off. Payoff pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. drive that's a base hit lead runner makes the turn at second throw comes in runner stops second and third nobody out well that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over a lot of hitters tell themselves line drive over the infielder's head that's what I'm trying to do just keep that approach simple and right there it was perfectly executed on time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Now a great opportunity to at least tie up this game with something like a sack fly or an error in the infield, but another hit to the outfield could absolutely end it. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. On the ground to the left. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Two runners in scoring position, nobody out. Got him swinging. Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. So in now for the Angels, number 38. Popped up right side. Remillard makes the catch for the second out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here's David Fletcher. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. In there at the knees. And the count. One and two. And a ball two evens the count. Two, two outs, two in scoring position. It's softly on the ground to third, and it's just foul. That was close. On the ground. 
Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Brett Phillips will hit next. Two on, two outs. And now two and one after that missed inside. Corners are occupied with two down. And that's in there at the knees. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. In comes the runner from third. And a 2-1 ball game now. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. So the batting order turns over. Randall Gritchick now struck out swinging his first time. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Next pitch is inside and it's two and two. It's a good take. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Puts the squeeze on that one and that will end the inning. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. We play two full. Angels two and the White Sox one. Out of the third inning, here's the shortstop at the plate, Elvis Andrews. And a one two. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. So they get the first out of the inning. And next to hit for the Sox, Zach Remillard. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. On the corner for a strike. Two and two now. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Good wood on that changeup. Barreled it up. Just couldn't keep it between the lines. The 2 2 now. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. He's 0 for 1. That misses the zone, and the count's full. Gavin Sheets. In the on-deck circle. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Nothing doing for the White Sox. And our score remains 2-1. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Now the number two hitter, number nine.
You know, these angels showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and that's the first out. The first baseman, Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. His first at bat was a strikeout. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Swing and a miss struck him out. The catcher number 14. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. A walk and a run scored his first time. Ball to strike. The pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And it's even up. Two two down. Hit on the ground to the right side. Vaughn takes it himself. Angels retired. One, two, three. And the Angels are gone in order, but they still lead it two to one. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Gavin Sheets. Two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And here it comes. Yasmani Grandal in the on deck circle for the White Sox. Out to short. Fires over to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Well, Boog, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Yasmani Grandal up to him. Single to right at his first trip. That misses. And now three balls and a strike. Lennon Sosa waiting for a turn at the plate. And now the lefty. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Rolled over to third. Tosses across the first. That takes care of Grandal. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So two down now, and here is Lennon Sosa. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down in order go the White Sox, and they trail it here, two to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the right fielder, Joe and Adele. For the Angels, the right fielder, Joe Adele. And a pitch. And now two balls and a strike. 
Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Swing and a miss. And it's two and two. Activity in the bullpen. Luis Patino, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Bummer, the lefty, warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. Struck him out looking. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Eduardo Escobar. And next for L.A., Eduardo Escobar went down on strikes his first time through. That one ran inside, almost got him. The pitch. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. He's safe. Number 38, the next to hit for the Angels. Swing and a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Back-to-back -back singles. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the White Sox manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Jose Ureña out of the game, and it wasn't his best start, but he kept them in it to this point, and will come back with a new arm. On the mound now, Luis Patino. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now it's the second baseman, David Fletcher. Reached on an infield single his first time. Two on, one out. Off the plate, inside. Two balls, two strikes. One out, runners at first and second. And that's outside. And that's ball four. Ball four. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Brett Phillips, the next to hit for the Angels. He doubled home a run at his first A.B. At the belt and fires. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. One out, base is full. And a pitch. In the air to left center. That's a base hit as a run scores. Throw into third, and he's in there as they score a pair on the play. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Randall Gritchick, the next to hit for the Angels. 1-1 one, one now. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Vaughn makes the grab, and there are two outs. The batter number nine, shortstop. Set. And now the shortstop, number nine. Next pitch is downstairs.
Runners on first and third, two away. That's outside. Three balls and a strike. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And that'll load the bases. And next for the Angels, Brandon Drury, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. New pitcher on now, Declan Cronin. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. First and second, two down. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. In there. And so now one and two. First and second, two down. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Nine men come to the plate, four score. We played four. It's the Angels six, and the White Sox one. We go to the top of the fifth, and the batter now, Tyler Naquin. The wind and the pitch. On a line out towards center. Phillips snags it on the run. Now the Angels manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Jose Suarez won't go any further tonight. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. So they turn things over to one of their young arms, Chase Silsip. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Trace Thompson steps to the plate for the White Sox. The wide to kick the pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. A couple of hits in a row for him here. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. So up next for Chicago, number 36. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. And that one is inside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Andrew Watts up and throwing. Number 59 getting loose as well. And the pitch. And down on strikes. That's out number two. So up next, Elvis Andrews. This one in the air center field. Phillips, couple of steps in, ball game. 
I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle-of-the-pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.